Throughout your Pokemon journey in the Kanto region, you'll come to catch a lot of Pokemon. Your bag will be filled with a plethora of amazing creatures ranging from various sizes, shapes, and colors that will touch your heart one way or another. You'll also encounter some Pokemon that will join you in your journey without the need to catch them. These Pokemon are gifts from other trainers who are NPCs, also known as non-player characters. Here are some of the Pokemon you'll be able to get for free. To get Bulbasaur without catching it is fairly simple. When you're in Cerulean City, go to the house to the left of the Pokemon Center. To get Bulbasaur, you must talk to the lady behind it and have captured at least 30 Pokemon. If you haven't, go ahead and get catching. Once you've completed the task, go back to the nice wonderful lady and talk to her again. Then, you'll have the choice of adopting a cute little grass type Pokemon. As you progress, the stakes get higher. Remember that heart-wrenching episode where Charmander was abandoned by his trainer Damien? Well similarly here, a trainer past the Nugget Bridge on Route 24 says he isn't good enough of a trainer for Charmander and offers you to take care of it. To get Charmander, make sure you've got at least 50 Pokemon in your collection. If not, you know what to do, get catching. The mischievous Squirtle of the Squirrel Squad can also be added into your party. To get the leader of the Squirrel Squad, you must have at least 60 Pokemon in your collection. In Vermilion City, talk to Officer Jenny who is next to the Pokemon Center, with a Squirtle next to her. She'll offer you a Squirtle if you've caught over 60 Pokemon. If not, get catching. Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee are respectively Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee who are turned into Pokemon. To get them, head to the dojo next to Safran City Gym, beat all the black belts, and you are rewarded with a choice of Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. Make your choice carefully, because you can only choose one. To get Lapras for free, you need to do it during the Team Rocket Silk Company Hostile Takeover. Get the keycard from the Team Rocket member who is guarding it. When you got the keycard, head to the 7th floor and look for a small room with a locked door. Unlock it with the keycard, and then talk to the worried Silk Company employee. He'll give you a rare Lapras so that the Team Rocket will never get their dirty hands on it. After defeating Giovanni and saving the Sylph Company in Saffron City, head outside and go towards the Pokemon Center. You'll see a man with a Porygon. Talk to him and he'll give you the Porygon for saving the company. I've previously made a video about getting a free Arcanine, as Arcanine is the first rideable Pokemon you can get for free in Let's Go Eevee version. 
Unless you've already evolved other radical Pokemon, that is. I'll leave a link in the description below. To briefly go over it, you must have caught five meows and talked to a lady sitting on a bench in Vermilion City. If you have the Let's Go Pikachu version, you will have to catch five Growlits. Doing so, she'll reward you with a Persian. I'll do a video about all the rideable Pokemon soon, so stay tuned. These Pokemon require you to have access to Cinnabar Island. Remember where you were given a choice after defeating the Super Nerd at Mount Moon? You were asked to choose either the Helix Fossil or the Dome Fossil. The Helix Fossil grants you the opportunity to revive an Ammonite. The Dome Fossil, on the other hand, yields a Kabuto. If you've already beat the story, you can get more of these fossils each day at Cerulean Cave. To revive these Pokemon, go to a research lab in Cinnabar Island. Talk to the scientist next to the UFO looking contraption. This guy can turn fossils into living Pokemon with science. With the same technique, getting the old amber allows you to revive an Aerodactyl. To get the amber, fly to Pewter City and use the secret technique Chop Down to get to the back of the museum. Talk to one of the scientists and he'll offer you Amber. Fly back to Cinnabar Island and back to the Man of Miracles and you've got yourself an Aerodactyl. Here's a Pokemon that's not free, the Magnificent Magikarp, that is worth every single Poke Penny. You can buy it from the old man inside the Poke Center, outside the entrance of the Mount Moon on Route 4. The Magikarp is only 500 Poke Dollars. This Magikarp has enhanced stats and will evolve into strong Gyarados. Make sure you get it right away. Well there you have it, you now know how to get all the strong and free Pokemon. I hope this helped you on your journey to becoming a Pokemon Master. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. For more of these videos, subscribe and you'll be the first to know what videos are uploaded. I'll be sure to make more of these videos so get out and catch them all.